Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch Sea Channel and I have me another box and a rather big box this time. It is, uh, it contains a uh, PBI Catalina, a seaplane, a very iconic seaplane uh, for that matter, from Dynam. Yes sir, and uh, I got this one from Banggood, I'll have a link in the description. And um, yeah, I was happy to see that they improved their shipping of uh, planes, or at least the larger boxes. This box came in a uh, extra outer box, so uh, yeah, the box arrived relatively unscathed, and uh, the inner, uh, the, the plane itself, is uh, completely intact. That's nice. And if I take the lid off. You can see that uh, all uh, parts of the plane are packaged in sub boxes. So very well protected this time. I was happy to see that. Uh, let's see, yeah I'll put some uh, specs on screen so you can check those out. A rather large plane as you uh, sh I'm sure you'll agree. And let's see, yeah I'm gonna take everything out of these boxes and then I'll show you what the parts look like. Okay, let's look at the biggest parts of the plane first. Uh, you have a, a wing which is separated into three pieces, uh, which uh, makes sense otherwise the box would have been even bigger. Now they are joined with these two glass fiber spars which is uh, just fine with me. And as you can also see, uh, it has uh, two motor pods, as the Catalina has, is a twin engine uh, plane. Um, the motors, the brushless motors, are already in them, as are the ESCs, so uh, you can't really see them, but uh, there are two ESCs in there. And uh, yeah, cabling is in place as well. Um, it has a Dean's connector, uh, which is actually a bit uh, funny. A year ago I would have been really happy with a Dean's connector. Nowadays I use an XC60 on my, m most of my planes. But, uh, well, no biggie of course. It's better than a weird non-standard connector of course. And let's see, yeah, you can see here that the wings, the wing pieces are screwed on from the bottom over here and let's have a look at that wing tip. Servo is already in place, uh, it's already linked to the aileron. By the way the wing does not have uh, flaps. I would have liked to see flaps but uh, well, it is what it is. And uh, maybe you can use the ailerons as flaperons. I'm not sure, maybe uh, people that already have this plane can comment on that, I'd appreciate that. And you see this slit over here, which is for a outrigger to give the plane some stability on the water. This slots in over here and is screwed down. So um, yeah, we'll see how these work out on the water of course, if they don't dig into the water too much. We'll just see. I hope they work out, of course. Now, by the way, on the real Catalina, these fold up to form um, the wing tips. Um, I'm not completely sure if that's uh, the case in all Catalina versions, but uh, the ones I've seen, these fold up and form the wing tips. Oh well, um, I'd rather have good outriggers than uh, fold ups, so to speak. So uh, we'll see. And oh, by the way, the center section of the wing actually has some nav lights or nav lights, landing lights, LEDs, which are wired up over here. So that's nice. I didn't know that this model actually had LEDs. So that's a, that's a nice uh, touch. These are actually the only LEDs on the plane, though. Alright, the fuselage and quite a big fuselage at that. Um, it has uh, quite a lot of nice scale details. Um, you've got a cockpit 
over here, which you actually have to glue on. It's a separate piece of uh, Lexan, and they do provide you with uh, some glue for that. And uh, yeah, the canopy uh, of the, the cockpit section has see-through windows. I love seeing that. The, the gun turret at the front <coughs> also has see-through windows. Very, very nice. And these gun turrets at the rear, these bulbs, are also transparent. Very nice. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, you might have noticed that um, the plane does not have retracts or even actual wheels over here. The real plane has retracts and I can understand why they didn't uh, add retracts or landing gear. Um, then the waterproofing of the hull would have been a whole lot more complicated. So, uh, and the plane would have been more expensive. So, oh, and um, if you open the canopy up over here, let's see, there, uh, might be a bit hard to see, but uh, the tail servos are already in place, as is some Velcro to uh, secure your LiPo. Um, the plane flies on a 2203S, by the way, which is nice, it's a very common LiPo, every pilot will probably have a bunch of those, those already. So that's very nice. Let's see, yeah, we have ourselves a tail to the plane, obviously, and the uh, control rods are already installed. This is the one for the elevator, and on the other side we have one for the rudder. Uh, it is not connected to the rudder yet, but uh, well, no biggie there, of course. And let's see, yeah, obviously the, <laughs> the plane also comes with an elevator and horizontal stabilizer, which you see here. It is joined by another uh, glass fiber uh, spar, very nice, and you have to glue uh, the horizontal stabilizer onto the fuselage, by the way. Now, um, this really is the only Damage, damage, well damage is a big word for it. This part of the horizontal stabilizer was a little bent out of place. Um, not a very big thing as it will be glued on to the other side uh, or the other half of the horizontal stabilizer. That will iron things out. So I'm not concerned about that at all. And like I said that was the only thing that could be called damage out of the box. So yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with the packaging of this plane. Let's uh, have a, another look at the fuselage itself. Um, it does not have uh, markings or anything as uh, don't, uh, the, the wings don't have markings at all either. But the plane comes with this nice sticker sheet. And uh, rescue, yeah, I guess this uh, color scheme is um, uh, a navy rescue color scheme. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. Maybe some uh, people who can uh, correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure about that. So uh, yeah, you've got uh, some uh, wheel detail decals, uh, navy markings, uh, tail numbers, yeah. Very nice. Alright, we are down to the smaller parts of this uh, kit. Um, the plane actually comes with a boat stand. That is nice. I've never had a plane that comes with a boat stand. Yeah, it is uh, uh, partly a uh, boat, of course, this, uh, this plane. So that's, that's nice. And you get uh, four wing supports, which are uh, mandatory. I will definitely install those. Um, I got actually four prop adapters or um, prop hold downs. Um, so yeah, two uh, spares, that's nice. And four propellers, so also two spare propellers. However, this is a bit of a fail. And if someone from Diamond is, uh, Dynam is watching this uh, video, no counter rotating uh, props. So all propellers will spin the same direction. That's, uh, yeah, I would have really, really liked to have uh, counter-rotating propellers. 
uh, very beneficial on a twin twin engine uh, plane so yeah uh, the plane will probably fly just fine but uh, once again it would have been much better to have counter rotating propellers on the plane like this um, let's see yeah you get two tubes of uh, rubber cement for the tail I'll be using a CA glue yeah um, I never really trust these kinds of tubes how old is the, is the glue so uh, yeah and you get a myriad of screws to assemble your plane of course oh and a little screwdriver okie dokie um, besides that you get a manual for the ESC's uh, which is uh, pretty comprehensive and um, everything you need to know is in this manual invaluable thank you very much and you get a, uh, a kind of a leaflet about the instruction construction of the plane um, not a whole lot of details in it but that's not really needed at least the CG specification is in there so yeah that's all good Okie dokie, and then suddenly the plane is all built up, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I took it outside because uh, it is quite a large plane, it, uh, it didn't really fit into my studio anymore. Um, it took me about uh, two hours to uh, build this plane. Um, no real issues, um, however uh, there was a bit of a fail, a small fail in the build. Let me try and show that to you over here the elevator the clevis that holds on to the elevator uh, control rod uh, has its screw on the wrong side I hope that's visible but I'd have to uh, yeah drill through the rudder to uh, get to that screw. I used some uh, clamps to uh, to do that, but uh, yeah, that was a bit of a fail. Um, one thing I should mention as well is that the plane has a Lexan skid on the bottom, which is great. That actually makes it a uh, an all-terrain plane, I'd say. You uh, should be uh, well able to uh, fly this plane off of grass, which is great. And um, yeah, that's it. Like I said, no real issues, which is uh, good, of course. And uh, I uh, hope to be able to show you how it actually flies. For now, I think it, uh, it looks great. I really love its looks. But uh, yeah, if you aren't subscribed yet, uh, please do, so you won't miss out on my uh, maiden flight with this plane. And hope to see you back in another video. Bye-bye.